Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to show how you can link parameters from one part to another inside of Autodesk Inventor so the dimensions from one part can drive another part. Here, I have an assembly that contains a shaft and then a base that also contains the corresponding hole or bore. What I'm going to do is take the parameter that defines the shaft diameter and drive the hole or bore diameter by using that parameter and adding a clearance of 15 thousandths of an inch. So let's take a look and see how this is going to work. First, I'm going to edit the shaft and look at the parameters that are driving the diameter of this part. I'll go to the Manage tab and choose Parameters, and I can see that I have the diameter indicated by D0 right here. I'm going to go ahead and rename that to Shaft Diameter to make it easier for me to see. And that's really all I need to do to this part. I'll go ahead and finish the edit, and now I'll edit the base part. Now, editing the base part, I can go ahead and go to the parameter screen for this component. I'll choose Manage and Parameters, and in my parameter screen, I'm going to find the link button. I'll choose that, and now I'm going to go ahead and I'll browse to the shaft component that has the parameters that I need. I'll make sure to change my file of type to IPT and IAM. I could use an Excel chart for this as well, but I'm just going to use the inventor part for now. I'll choose shaft and click open. Inventor will ask me what parameters I want to import and I'm going to choose that renamed parameter, the shaft diameter. I'll click OK and we can see at the bottom of the screen where I'm moving my cursor, the shaft diameter parameter has been called in. That's all I need to do. It's ready to use. I'll go ahead and close that out. And now all I have to do is edit my bore, list my parameters, and I can choose that shaft diameter plus 15 thousandths of an inch and click OK. I'll go ahead and finish my part edit, and we can see that the part has shrunk down and includes that clearance. If I need to go back and make any changes, I can edit the shaft, make any changes that I might need to make, complete my edits, and see that the bore of the corresponding part updates. That's it. You can do this for as many parameters as you want. Usually you just use it for critical parameters, but this is another tool that you can take advantage of when creating your inventor designs. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone.